Every time we do come into the driveway, we look at each other and go, wow. It's a breathtaking sight in the front yard of this home along Rock Springs Road. A cello carved right from the trunk of an enormous silver maple tree. To see it in person is really quite something. It has such an impact because of the size of it. Diane Stahl and her husband Israel admire it as something good that's come out of something bad. Last summer, a storm damaged their beloved tree, taking out a large chunk. Experts said the maple was unsafe, so the rest would have to go too. But was there a way to save any of it? The stall's yard was already dotted with sculptures crafted by Israel from stainless steel. This is one of the first sculptures that I produced. It's become a passion project in retirement, themes of music and life. But to transform the tree, they needed some help. The Stalls worked with a chainsaw artist from Kentucky who happened to be in the area to bring their vision to life. What was it like to see him do his work to transform? Exciting, really exciting. And it was a bit of a duet between two artists. Israel made the metal strings that complete the piece. The decision on a cello is an ode to one of their daughters who plays the instrument. Word spread quickly about the couple's newest addition, striking a chord with many folks who would drive by to get a look for themselves. It's exciting to watch. He livened up the neighborhood, that's for sure. Neighbor Don Serretta says the stalls would always ask before adding another piece to their sculpture garden. And we're like, no, we can't wait to see the next piece. They're the kind of neighbors that everybody would want to have. It's exactly what we wanted, that the community would embrace it. So hopefully it's going to last probably longer than us. Reporting in Mount Lebanon, Tom Garris, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.